Welcome back guys. First of all, I would like to tell you that the introduction video was made by my friend Aditya Handrari. So I am immensely thankful to you for rendering this awesome video. Uh, his channel is Flying Cow FX, which is there in the description link. And I urge you to visit the channel, see some of his awesome videos and subscribe to him. Give a thumbs up, like and comment. Okay, so we will get back to Hamming code. The first part of Hamming code was to encode the data and then send it to the receiver. The second part of the Hamming code, which takes part at the receiver side, is finding out if there is any error. Now we have this encoded Hamming data in front of us, which is 1000101. Now we don't know is this data right or wrong. So in that case, what we did was what we have to do is to check the blocks of data. For parity P1 block, we will have to check 1, 3, 5, and 7. In 1, 3, 5, 7, if the number of ones are even, then there is no error in the block corresponding to P1. So let's count. 1 has 1, 3 has 1, 5 has a 0, and 7 has a 1. So we have three ones. So definitely there is an error in this block. So if there is an error, put 1 under P1. I will tell you what exactly these three bits are in just a while. So there is an error corresponding to block number P1. So now let's check for block number two. So for block number two, we have to check two, three, leave out four, five, and six, seven. So in this block, there is a one at three and there is a one at seven. So it is in even parity. So there is no error. If there is no error, put in zero corresponding to P2. Now check out for P4. So you have to check the block four, five, six, seven. So there is only one one so this is also not in even parity so we will have to put a one over here so now there exists an error in p1 and p4 blocks so we have found out and written 101 corresponding to p1 there is an error p2 there is not an error p4 there is one so if uh, First of all, I would like to make it clear that if you're finding it difficult and probably you're not understanding why I'm taking 1357, 2367 or 4567 as blocks, then you probably need to watch my previous video and the things will become clear to you. Okay, so those who already know what this is, let's go ahead and now render this three bits in binary form. So in binary form, 101 means 5. So this gives where the error in this data is. So at fifth bit, which is 0 over here, the error is there. So due to some noise which happens while data transmitting or due to some electromagnetic interference, it may happen that our data bits are corrupted. So in this case, our fifth data bit is corrupted. And to correct it, let's flip that so to correct it let's make 0 or 1 so now this encoding gives us the correct data bits which is 1 0 1 1 for position 7 6 5 and 3 so finally we are able to correct the data and find out the data bits so the purpose of Hamming code is served in next video tutorial we will put this into socket programming and finish this topic of Hamming code. Thank you for tuning in, learning Hamming code. That was pretty cool. See you in our next video lecture. Bye-bye. JJ signing out.